Chet Saunoi Waterfall National Park is one of the most popular and most visited parks in the country by local tourists. It is not known much by foreign tourists and overlooked as most foreign tourists prefer to get to nearby Kawiai National Park. The park is located between Saburi and Nakhon Ratshasima provinces. Muak Lek River, which flows through the falls, is a natural border between both provinces at the area of the falls. Crossing one of the bridges from east side or swimming to the other side and you will be on Nakhon Ratshasima province. The park is around 160 km from Bangkok and around 50 km from Saraburi and 40 km from Pak Chong. The only public transportation option all the way to Chet Saunoi Falls is slow orange buses that operate daily from Salaburi. The orange buses depart from Salaburi at 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. every hour. The same buses depart from Chet Saunoi from 5 a.m. until 4 p.m. Why? During the early hours of the day, the buses may depart every 30 minutes depending on how busy it is. The route takes around 1 hour 45 minutes one way. As of June 2022, the entrance fees are 100 baht for adults and 50 baht for children 3 to 14 years old, 30 baht for cars. Thai citizens pay 20 baht for adults and 10 baht for children. Chet Saunoi National Park is open every day, all year round, from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. The visitor center area has a spacious car park, several restaurants, various food stalls, shops, cafes, most of them open daily from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Chet Saunoi Waterfall is a seven-tiered waterfall of Bangwak Lake River in a very short walking distance from the visitor center area on the park. Chet Saunoi means seven little girls, referring to the number of partiers the waterfall has. Though there is also a study about seven sisters that drowned in one of the ponds. The falls at each tier is no more than a few meters tall at most four meters, but quite wide and streaming down over the smooth rocky edges of many curvy emerald ponds, creating a magical view. All tiers are accessible by a nearly two kilometers long circular trail following the riverbank on both sides of the river. There are a number of spots relatively shallow and not much of a stream where visitors are allowed to swim. Saying this, some spots are strong underwater currents, are strictly off limits for swimming after a few drowning incidents happened in the past. Visitors are advised to check the signs for appropriate spots for swimming. During the most rainy periods, the rainy seasons, the water stream gets so strong that swimming will be prohibited. The water also gets a bit muddy. The riverbanks are full of banyan trees with impressive tangling roots along the trails and down to the water. Mm -hmm.